Hello. So, let's answer example number 2. Okay, the problem says, or states, a composite bar, okay, consists of aluminum section, aluminum section, rigidly fastened between bronze section and steel section. This is the bronze, this is the steel. Okay, as shown in figure 1.1, this is figure 1.1. Actual loads are applied at the position indicated. So, these are the actual loads. Okay. Determine the stress in each section. Now, take note composite and you have the external load here. 4,000, 9,000, 2,000, and 7,000. If you have a summation forces here and take note of the direction, you have 9,000 plus 2,000, that is 11,000. Going to the right, positive. Then 7,000 plus 4,000 going to the left, that is also 11,000. Meaning this whole system is in equilibrium. Okay. Now, under, you must understand that the bronze has, uh, have a different stress, have a different uh, forces within, okay, internal forces compared to aluminum. Now, let me say, in this case, uh, the bros experiences tension. Nagaganon, nahihila. Okay? Now, for the aluminum, later on, let's compute, if I'm not mistaken, this experiences compression. Nagaganyan. So, this will elongate, this will contract. And, if I'm not mistaken, this will also contract because it's compression okay so again it's uh, crucial that you will understand that each section experiences different loading different value different types of loading okay now how to solve for the stress so uh, as we discussed last time stress Okay, is force over area. Okay. Now, uh, what kind of stress is this? This is a normal stress uh, because we will be analyzing the cross-section of this bronze. Okay, aluminum and steel. So, this is uh, axial loading and this is uh, normal load and tension and compression. Okay, let's start with bronze. Okay. Now, to start with bronze, you have to cut this one. We have to study the bronze, so you have to study this point. So, you have to cut it. Like that. So, if you cut it, it will become like this. So, you have the external load, 4,000 pounds. Okay. Now, what happened here, the 9,000, 2,000, 7,000, you have to get rid of that. So, you're not concerned with that. So, you're only concerned with this one. Okay? Now, uh, this is in equilibrium, meaning it's not moving or accelerating. So, the bronze experiences a load. For example, you have a force on this point that is, let's call that force... Uh, at bronze. Now, do the summation forces x equals 0, meaning you have negative 4,000, okay, plus force at bronze and equals to 0, okay? So, always remember that. So, obviously, the force at the bronze is 4,000 pounds. Meaning, the bronze experiences a uh, 4,000 pounds. Is that compression or is that tension? Now, the clue here is, this is your reference point. Okay, if it's away from the point, it's tension. Okay, again, if it's away the direction, it's tension. If it's towards the point, okay, Patosok sa point, it's compression. Now, to compute for the stress of the bronze, that is, force ng bronze over area ng bronze. 
let's make it uh, B na lang. FB. So, you have stress in the bronze is 4,000 pounds divided by the area. The area is 1.2 uh, inch squared. So, you have stress in the bronze. So, that would be, okay, 4,000 divided by 1.2. So, you have 333. 3,333.3333 PSI or pound per inch squared. So, this is now your uh, stress in the bronze. Okay? Now, for the other one, the other, uh, this one, the aluminum, same procedure, you have to cut it. Because you're studying at this one. Okay? So, remember this procedure. So, you have, here is the bronze. But we are not concerned with the bronze. You have to include it. Then, you have the aluminum. This is our point. Okay? You have here, 4,000. And, of course, this is 9,000. The 2,000 don't include that anymore because it's here. It's uh, not included. Okay? So, then, uh, let's put here the force experienced by aluminum. Let's call that FA. Okay? So, you if you have the schematic diagram or the free body diagram, you can. Summation forces X equals 0. Okay? You have negative 4,000. Then you have positive 9,000. Then you have positive force A equals 0. Now, if you notice, the answer would become negative 5,000. If that is negative, it means that your direction is uh, wrong. So, you have to change the direction. If, if the direction points to the this one, to the one that you're studying, it's compression. So, when you change it, it will become negative 4,000 uh, plus 9,000 minus FA equals 0. So, your FA becomes positive 5,000. Okay, 5,000 pounds. Then, you can now compute for the stress at the aluminum. So, that is 5,000 Divided by the area, that is 1.8. This is pounds. This is inch squared. So, your stress would become 5,000 divided by uh, 1.8. So, you have now 2777.7778. Okay. Pounds per inch squared. So, that's the stress. Okay in the aluminum okay now how about the stress in the steel okay for the steel you have to cut also here okay so you now have here is the uh, bronze and the aluminum and the steel okay put the uh, forces external forces 4000 then you have 9000 then you have here 2000 and you don't include the 7000 because it's removed then let's say you have now F steel okay Again, same procedure, summation forces x equals 0. Then you have now negative 4,000. Then plus 9,000. Okay. Uh, then you have plus 2,000. Then plus fb equals 0. Okay. So it turns out that you have now 
Uh, this is 11 minus 4, it's 7,000. But that would be negative 7,000 pounds. So if that is negative, what we will do? What we will do is to change the direction. So this will become compression. Uh, by the way, this is compression. Okay. The tension in compression is very important. So you have to take note of that. So, I will have to uh, shortcut it. Your FB now is 7,000 pounds. So, your bronze would be 7,000 pounds over 1.6 inch squared. So, your stress in the bronze would be 7,000 divided by 1.6 is 4 375 pounds per inch squared okay so that's the answer you have stress in the bronze aluminum and oh by the way sorry it should be did i should be steel sorry steel 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 and steel okay now you might say that can we do it this way okay Sir, can I do it this way for steel? Uh, I will do this one. This is 7,000. Uh, take note, this is also compression. Okay. Now, I will just cut here. And, obviously, this is Fs. So, if I summation forces X, that is equals to 0. So, Fs minus 7,000 equals 0. So, your Fs is 7,000. And that this should be compression. Now, they're the same. You can do it that way. Okay. Now, you might say, Ah, sir, depende din doon. Itong sa aluminum. Para ma-check ko lang para sure na na perfect ang score ko. Let's see. 7,000. Then, you have 2,000. Of course, you have to cut it here. Let's say, pag ganun din siya, compression. So, F, uh, A would be, uh, pwede, uh, summation forces, X equals 0. So, you now have, uh, F, A plus 2,000 minus 7,000 equals 0. So, you have F, A, that is 5,000. Is that correct? 5,000 compression. So, that is correct. So, you can do from this one or from this one, ikat mo yan. Now, pwede din ba sa bronze? Okay, sige. Para mapagbigyan. Okay, this is the bronze. Of course, this is the aluminum. Then, this is the steel. So, 7,000. Then, you have 2,000. Then, you have 9,000 then you have FB so negative FB plus 9,000 plus 2,000 minus 7,000 equals 0 so your FB transpose it, transpose it so it will become so what's that? Uh, it will become uh Okay, 4,000. And that is tension. Okay, here, 4,000. So, that's it for the example number 2. So, remember the equation. Uh, not much with the process uh, because that is algebra. But remember the equation, this one, and the summation forces, x, uh, madali lang yan, kaya lang yung pinakamahirap, pinaka-crucial is the schematic diagram or the pre-body diagram. Pag nagkamali ka, mali na lahat. So again, that's it for this example.